in this video we will see how we can make use of s2 database in our spring boot application so for that you don't have to install any database software that will be an embedded uh, database that can be accessed through browser so let's get started what you will have to do you will have to simply right click on your existing project go to spring click on add starters here you will see a screen like this so we will have to select two more starters here that is s2 database and second is spring data jpa so if you hover on this you will see the information window here and you can go and check references as well we don't need to do that for now so we will click on next then you will see a screen like this it is asking you to add these dependencies to your form so you will have to click on this copy current changes from right to left arrow then next and then click on finish so here we will see in our form.xml as to database and spring data jpa status have been added now go and simply right click run as spring boot app let us examine our console so if you see on your console it is giving us this database url and to access as to as to console what you will have to do you will have to go and try to access the default url that is as to hyphen console so here if you see we are getting an error that is because we have to add one property in your in our properties file so we will open our properties file from resources application dot properties here you dot s2 dot console enabled equal to true and restart your application see now it is telling us that your s2 console is available at s2 hyphen console let us go and try to access it okay and now if i try to connect it is saying my db is not present because the your db url is this so we'll have to copy from here go to your browser paste it here your username will be sa and your password will be empty just click on connect so here we can see our s2 console but there are no tables so let us go and convert our model to a table or a entity so our model name was employee what we will have to do we will have to write here at the rate table and press control shift o so select this jakarta persistence dot table at the rate entity and here if you see we can provide name of the table but if you leave it as it is it will create a table with name employee and we will make use of one annotation dot id so this will make employee id as your primary key okay here also we can give name sorry this will be your this and to generate these values we will have generated value and strategy will be same type dot let us leave it as auto for this at the right column since we are not giving any 
options here like name and others in the level uh, scale other things are there since we are not making use of all these what it will do it will create a column with name as name similarly here see at the rate column and we will have one column as department so let us restart our application now what will happen whenever you restart your application your address of in main memory database will always change so you will have to copy it from here and now go to your browser and paste it here and connect see there is a table created for us automatically and you can run it from here but since there are no entries in our table this will not return any rows so we'll stop our video here and if you face any doubts you can post it in our telegram group i will provide the link